Now we enter the bus interface. Double clicking it to enter into the interface. Here we can see test name and some bus faders. Bus 1 can be sent to stereo output 5, 6, 7, and 8 simultaneously. Also, we may insert effects here. Here, please be noted that uh, for here only two effects can be inserted simultaneously, whereas uh, only one fax for input. We will introduce how to use fax later on. Now we turn it off. Now we introduce EQ. EQ interface here is similar to that of a mono and a stereo input interface. This EQ is for output. With the universal knob, we can tune the Q value, bypass, and recovery. Next, we click Send again. This interface is same as the previous one. Here, it can be also sent to bus 5, 6, 7, and 8. Certainly, pre-fader and the post-fader switch are also available here. Next is pan. We can adjust the pan with the universal knob. Double click to restore. Similarly, the effect is at the right side as well as the delay effect. We can still only insert two delays. To insert the third fax, we have to shut off one fax first. Now we turn off this interface. We can see rename underneath. Rename it in either Chinese or English. Click OK and we can see it is saved directly here. Double clicking the last option. We see delay at once. Totally different from the uh, delay for inputs. This is for outputs. We can turn it on and then tune it with the universal knob. Now we turn it off. The lower one is pan, namely L and R pan control. We double click to restore. Next button is solo, namely the headphone monitor. Faders in the touch screen are interconnected as we see the fader corresponding to the touch screen. Now we see mute key. Again we see the corresponding fader in the touch screen. Now we close the interface. Bus 1 is an independent output. Not only it can be sent to stereo out 5, 6, 7, or 8, but also play a row of effect fader. I'm making a demo here. We turn it off and return to the main input interface. The one with signal lamp is mic. Mic signal can be sent to bus 1. We double click to enter. Here we see bus 1. Turn it on and find it gray in color because it has no sending value. We can set the sending value as per our needs. Click here to send and turn it off. Now we check the output end. It is only normal when signal keeps coming in. Sometimes the sending value is not specific enough as we only tune it manually. For example, when we want 0 dB, it is really hard for us to make it with the touch control. But never mind, we would turn it off for now. Then. As previous lessons we have mentioned, a function key, quick send, appears on the left side of fader. We click it, 
then it slides down. Now it plays the role of the fader with sending value. We can see a M key. It is on because you can hear my voice. We can turn it off. Now my voice is muted. Here we can see bus 1 to bus 8. If you want to send the bus 1, you click M key. Here we can see the green knob bus 1. The function is opened but with no sending value. We click solo. All the data will be 0 dB. Now we click the function key and return to the previous input interface. We can see bus 1 here. On the interface, the red button is set for pre-fader and post-fader. Now we turn it off. We turn it off and the signal is sent to bus 1. We click to turn the page and enter the bus interface. We can see signal keeping coming in. After the entry, if we want independent output, we only need to connect bus 1 port to a power amplifier or speaker cable. Here we are illustrating the use of effects. We click it here. It can be sent to stereo out 5, 6, 7 and 8 simultaneously. We can also insert effects here, including effect 1 to 8. Now we demonstrate it. Here we can only insert two effects at one time, no more than two. However, when it comes to the previous input interface, we can only insert one effect. Please be noted that only one effect is supported here. We can never insert two effects simultaneously. You have to turn the first one off before you insert the second one. Now we move to the next interface. Here is the effect. In previous lessons, we have mentioned that data like reverb time and reverb dry wet ratio are all adjusted here by the front end. After the adjustment, we just need to insert it here. Next, I will demonstrate it. Now we put on the effect. The sound must be coming out with the effect. Someone may ask what if we only insert one effect. Yes, one effect is okay. We turn off delay. Now you are hearing the sound only with reverb. We can turn on effect at this interface and then adjust the data. We can adjust and listen at the same time. This function is very useful.